Eat something, baby. What's up with it? What's up with it, everybody? It's your boy, RDR, and welcome back to RDR Food Reviews. And as you can see here, right in front of your face, at the bottom of the screen, today, that's right, your boy, RD Rizzle, is back in his old quarters doing a Little Caesars mukbang. That's right, a Little Caesars mukbang. So as you well know, if you've been rocking with me for a long grip, I do a variety of videos, uh, and mukbangs are no strangers, especially storytime mukbangs, and it's been a long time since I've done one. And I feel like this is a great time to catch up with you guys about what's been going on with me, the vacation, the whole shebang. So that's what we got here going today. This is your first time coming to Audio Food Reviews. I'm your host, Roberto Del Rio. And this is Audio Food Reviews. I do a variety of videos like I said before. So if you like what you see in this video, please hit that subscribe button at the bottom. Next to that notification bell. So you get the latest grace Audio Food Reviews. Also, don't forget to check your boy out on Instagram, Roberto Del Rio 86. Let's get a quick moment of prayer. <clears throat> Father, bless this food I'm about to receive. Help this food nourish my body, make me strong as a person, strong as a man. And bless those that grow hungry as a prayer. Please find them something to eat. Y'all, the grace is my name, we pray. Amen. I love you, Father. I already know somebody's gonna be like, man, hey, how the damn pizza gonna make it nourish your body? Man, man, man. It's a prayer to God to please cleanse, cleanse me internally so it nourishes me in the right way. You know what I'm talking about? But that's neither here nor there. I'm so glad to be doing this today, and uh, especially with my favorite, uh, Little Caesars Pizza. When I did my uh, Old World Fanceroni Pepperoni Pizza, uh, I think it was my last video or whatnot, niggas was out here really sideline hating on Little Caesars. But the real ones know. Cutty, she didn't cut this right. She didn't cut it right. The real ones know. Little Caesars got hitters in there. You know what I'm talking about? When I mean hitters, they got good pizzas. And let me show you if I can get a. Damn, son, where'd you find this? Yeah, that might be the one. Yeah, they got hitters when it comes to pizza. Yes, sir. You just have to get the right ones. Now, stop getting hot and ready pizzas and get the custom made pizzas. You know what I'm talking about? So this right here, as you can see, let me put this up in your face a little bit. Oh man, look at that. Little Caesars three meat deep dish pizza right there for your liking. Okay. And uh, I got me some garlic butters over here. And so yeah, let's get the first bite in. Did I pray? Yeah, I did, I'm tripping. <laughs> Master Combo! I'm you, Cody. Little Caesars is the reason why they are now the official pizza of the NFL. They go hard in the paint, Cody. Delicious. Even better with the garlic butter. There you go. Okay. So, yeah, your boy. Took about close to a month, vacation time. I usually do this as uh, YouTubers. We, I mean, and influencers, all influencers, they do the same thing. But I've been doing this. Is this was a? Uh, I forgot who told me that I needed to do this every like quarter or whatever to refresh yourself. Um, but anyway, we take uh, vacations from time to time to reset ourselves, especially for like the uh, upcoming season. So that way you never get burnt out doing uh, what you love to do. Interesting. Mm. Well, she's got the best damn garlic butter for real. I've tried garlic butter from Pizza Hut, hated it. I tried it from Domino's, burnt it. <laughs> Shit was ass. They telling you lies. Nobody's yet been able to perfect the crowd. At Little Caesars. Let me know if you go to Little Caesars, what is your favorite dipping sauce? Most people they like the thing, the jalapeno cheese or whatever. But um, yeah, the the garlic butter is definitely my favorite. Get over here! So yeah, I took a, a vacation, not only a vacation from YouTube, I took a vacation from my job job. Yes, R.D. Rizzle has a regular job. Yes, you know sir. What I mean? 
as I've been uh, for a good grip. And you know, it works hand in hand. But uh, for the most part, the YouTube, I haven't watched much YouTube videos when I was, even my own videos, when I took a vacation. But shout out to everybody that's hit me up in the DMs via Instagram, hit me up in the comment section, and YouTube. Greatly appreciate it, the love and the support. Even from the, the haters, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Did you retire looking at it, you know what I'm saying? I can say that all the time just because you don't post, man. Look, again, we have to reset ourselves. August is getting ready to the end of the, uh, the summer. Fall's about to come around. New stuff's about to pop up. Great adventures, all that. I would like to say this, though. I'm mostly slacked on my variety of videos. That's something that I definitely have to start doing better in this next quarter. The uh, mukbangs versus videos. Yes, 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 that's it. I think I should do, um, <laughs> I think I should do a Patreon or something like that for story time. <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit! Because when I do put story time videos out or whatever, most people, they, they go off of what I used to do. You know what I mean? And Cuddy, sometimes when I do go back and I look at my story time videos, I can't even front to you. I could have cleaned up a lot, a lot, a lot of language back then. <laughs> a lot of language. 21. That's why I, even for myself, it's a little bit bearing to watch because of the, the consistency. That's not even a word, but, uh, you know, a lot of verbiage in there. But it's neither here nor there because I don't even do that anymore. But here and there, but not as violently as I was. Boy, I was expressing a lot. Juicy. I'm glad I cleaned that up. Oh, yeah. I want to send a special shout out um, to my boy, Snack City. Um, my boy, Snack City, he um, sent me a, a package, a care package of goodies from his uh, snack company. He does international snacks. Um, and I got two... Actually, I got two of his drinks right here from his snack package right here. Um, they look like Japanese snacks or whatnot, uh, but I'm a, I'm going to refresh myself actually with one of them right here. I'm gonna put all my all the links and stuff to Snack City Company at the bottom. It's like fruit, water, lemon right here. This look like something that's gonna be very good right here. So uh, yeah, shout out to Snack City Company uh, for sending me the care package. Uh, like I said, I'll put all his links at the bottom of the screen today. Go check him out. Give him love. And also, there is, um, if you go to snackcity.com, uh, put in the purchase code um, SNACK10 to get 10% off on purchase. So, yeah, let's go ahead and um, refresh ourselves with some of this beautiful fruit water right here. Man, oh yeah, that's a very light flavor right there. It's not, it's not like too lemony. It's not too like watery. It has a nice delicate balance, like a couple steps up from Propel water. But you definitely taste the balance in this uh, fruit water right there. I really like that. Definitely, definitely uh, refreshing right there. Uh, and we'll we'll check out this other one right here. It looks like some kind of pinch. Peach, like Fanta, right there, like some kind of Peach Fanta or whatever. We'll check that out here in a bit. Uh, but yeah, um, and I do get like, I get a lot of variety of things sent in from people all over. And I got to get me a new uh, P.O. box. So, you know, I don't mind uh, people sending stuff here and there. Juicy. I'd be a very busy individual. That's why a <laughs> vacation is so critical for your boy. We're so critical. Because, like, at the age, like, man, your boy 36 years old, man. Work drains you enough. 
but life after work can drain you even more. And YouTube is an outlet for me. It's something that I love to do and release my stress of the stress of the, the of the world. The small price to pay for salvation. I'm sure it is for a lot of other people too. But um so whenever I started back up to film, I was so ready to start filming again because being away from it for a month. You start to miss it. And that's the whole point. Twenty one. And uh yeah, I'm so glad to be back, especially getting ready, like I said, for the upcoming upcoming fall. And shout out to all my day ones and my real one subscribers that's been rocking with me for a good grip. You know exactly who you are. You know what I'm saying? You already understand this because this is something that I do seasonally or whatnot. As, as far as quitting YouTube, no, I'm not. I'm never gonna quit YouTube because it's fun. I enjoy it and I love the interaction. And uh, just don't ever think that, Cuddy. The day that I do quit YouTube or whatever, you will know. But I have no plans in the near future of doing it. I'll lead an effective strategy to mobilize true and international effort to pressure. Oh yeah! Shout out to my uh, my mother. Who just recently had a birthday. Thank you to everybody that sent the birthday wishes to her or whatever. Beautiful mother turned 66 years old, which, oh, man. It seems like as a kid, you know, as an adult kid, when, you're, when your parents get older, you get a little bit more sadder. Because you. it's like, man, you know, they're in good health as much as they can be. But the more they get older, you start, like, kind of preparing yourself. Because it's like, oh, my God, you just don't know. But it's just like you get a little bit more sadder because it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's like your whole everything from father, if it's your father that you have or your mother or whatever. Because I just have my mother alive. Like you you get a little bit more sadder because it's just like, you know, you have to ch cherish those times, the birthdays and stuff a little bit more than you have back whenever they were like, you know, 40s and 30s or whatever like this and that. So it, it 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 was great to spend time with my mother, but then again, it, it was still a little bit like, damn, you know. I, I remember sitting in there with my mother, and I was just like, damn, mama, you you know, you getting up there, you know? Into them, into their selves, they feel like their self, but to you, you just like, man, you you can tell. But you know, I'm thankful and blessed that I got to spend another year with my mother's birthday. You know what I mean? So uh, shout out to my mother. Oh, man, I know a lot of people are probably out there like, man, you're doing a lot of talking. Not enough I'm sorry. When I do bangs or whatever, no, I'm not sorry, my nigga. <laughs> I'm out here letting you guys know what's been going on with your boy. 21. Let me mainly new niggas. Yo, let me ask you a question. When you do watch Moot Bang videos, little niggas, are you literally just sitting there like this, just watching them niggas eat like this? And your stomach is growling and your ribs is touching? Or do you want the conversation of you being alone while your ribs is touching? <laughs> oh, hi. Thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. I also like new niggas that be hating. Like, when I say new niggas that be hating, I'm talking about people that are brand new to YouTube or new at trying to troll and stuff like that. These niggas is so comical. Bro, if you've been doing YouTube as long as your boy's been doing YouTube, nigga, you've gotten everything but the kitchen sink thrown at you. So it's not a fucking word that you can say or do that could face somebody. It's simplistic, nigga. You're going to try your best to say something to try to make a nigga come back, uh, comment at you. Me, I'm going to send an emoji at your ass and laugh at you. And laugh at you. And laugh at you. And if I do comment, I'm going to just repeat what you said. Like, Nigarachi, go on. Do your best. Like, come on. Find your ass something to do, little boy. You better come up with a plan B because that one ain't going to work, boy. 
Because as long as your pissy ass click on that video, nigga, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> If you think it's funny, you can pack your shit and go right now. I don't. In my position, life is good. I am living good. I'm feeling good. Yes, uh, I do need to increase a little bit more of my activity on. Yes, sir. I what y'all do. Nigga getting spells. I think it's much harder to fucking lose weight whenever you're up in your upper 30s and stuff. But it's doable, and I know I can do it because I do it all the time. It's like, damn. But sometimes nigga just be getting to the point to start feeling yourself. And when you feel yourself, nigga, you just, you just be like, fuck it. <laughs> yes, sir. I ain't trying to impress nobody. And so when I do get on my regimen to impressing you somebody, it's going to be impressing my damn self. You know what I mean? Cause I'm a foodie at heart. And I can find a balance. It's just in this point in time and whatnot. It just takes that one day. Just that one day to get the going, to get that 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 uh that our train to going or whatnot. But in this particular moment right now, smashing this three meat deep dish pizza, it is bliss, nigga. This is the way. And you know what I'm talking about if you're watching this at 3 o'clock in the morning. You're like, damn, nigga, that piece of look good. <laughs> but. I will say this, though, guys. If you have been walking with me for a good grip, and you believe in me as much as you do, I'm gonna keep rocking and going as hard as I can to paint this next quarter for the rest of this year, as long as I can, while I have breath in my lungs, to give you the best quality content that I can from uh, chop talk videos, maybe here and there, occasional maybe story time videos, um, food reviews, mukbangs, the works. Because I love doing this. I love doing it to the fullest. I love seeing other YouTubers that I've grown with, you know, uh, doing great, hitting milestones, even just doing the best, you know what I'm saying, going viral, that, that, and et cetera, whatever. I'm not in a race with anyone, but I love seeing people that I've connected with get their, their flowers and just do. And I know that one day I, I, I will get my just do, God willing, on this time. But during that time, I'm going to enjoy the process. And I mean, I'm going to enjoy the process to the fullest, you know? So, bottom of my heart, I want to thank you guys for real. For rocking with your boy the, the best way that you could. And uh, thank you guys for coming into my homes and allowing me into your life. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and close this bad boy out right here. And this right here, Cuddy, is the, uh, the peach Fanta right here. Has a different coloration on it. Let's uh let's see what this bad boy is all about. Again, uh appreciate you guys. And that, let's go ahead and close it out. Uh, look at my African American over here. Look at him. Are you the greatest? Do you know what I'm talking about? Okay. Ultra refreshing. God, cause that was that was amazing. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my God! I know I just killed it, but you can't let you couldn't let the coloration fool you. That was full blown peach flavor, straight up. All right, cutting. Thank you, everybody, for watching my Little Caesars mukbang video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's your boy, RDR, and like I always say, man, hey, look, food is a gift, so please get thanks. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit that like button. If you don't like this video, you ready to want my content, go on, hit it with a thumbs down. It don't matter. I'm going to live like I always have. It's your boy, RD Rizzle. Sign up out of here. God bless y'all. Take care already. I love you guys, and I'm going to see y'all soon. God bless y'all, and good night.